Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another week, and today we have some pickups. This was going to be, hopefully, a short one. Hopefully. Uh, by the way, I just want to point out a little update. I did get a cut here, uh, because I've been doing a lot of weekly vlogs and trying to catch up in, like, a few days' worth or even a day. Uh, it'll still probably be here. Uh, I tried cutting a little piece of hair, and it, it turned out bad. So, yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, um, let's... Jump into jump jump <laughs> into something that uh, I kind of forgot about, but I but I knew existed. So uh, these are all be PS3 games. Uh, one's gonna be an import, so you can be kind of fascinated by that one. And yes, if anyone was curious, we can hear them by the music just really quick. Yes, I am watching One Piece. Okay, just just in case you really wanted to know. So it's One Piece. Anyways, yes, I'm like season four if you know it by the intro. So anyways, uh, this game is rated M for mature. I own the first game already. I just totally forgot this was even a game on the PS3 that came to North America because I remember it being pretty popular in Japan. So it is X Blaze Lost Memories. Uh, if you don't know, X Blaze, uh, the series is based off from uh, Blaze Blue. Uh, so, you know, the fighting games franchise, you know, Calamity Trigger, uh, Continuous Shift Extend, I always like saying Extend, and Chrono Phantasma and Central Friction. And whatever else is in the future. So, yeah, X Blaze Lost Memories. Basically, it's a storytelling video game. So, let's, let me tell you something. So, the previous Azor stories return through memories and encounters. Adventure and dungeon exploring an all new gaming experience. Fully voice event scenes. The next evolution of 2D drama. When their worlds collide, the Wheel of Fate will turn anew. If you don't know what the Wheel of Fate is, uh, in a series of Blaze Blue, uh, every time there's going to be a fight happening, they always say, they always say, the wheel is turning, and then they fight. So, that's just a thing they say. Um, it's basically like, you know, like, like, fight, or something like that, you know, you know? Uh, regardlessly, uh, this game, uh, I beat the first game, kind of, not really, because it's just storytelling, and all you do is just kind of answer some questions, even though when I keep thinking I passed the game, it always says I didn't get the good story. So I was like, what? So I kind of beat the game, but kind of didn't. So I don't really know. It'd probably be the exact same way in x Plays Lost Memories for the PS3. Uh, I think it's also on the Vita if anyone is curious about that. So anyways, the next game here, uh, I'll, I'll do this one because it's pretty interesting. So I kind of forgot this was a thing. Uh, I really did. So this is a movie that was released on... The Xbox Live, PS3, PSN, XBLA, Marketplace, and Store. And uh, they have two episodes, uh, like games, and you play them, and that was it. That, that, was, that was completely it. I didn't realize that this was ever a thing. I didn't know they released it physically on the PS3 uh, called, and I have to get rid of that stupid sticker because it's going to bother me. It is literally called The Complete Experience Watchmen. The end is nigh or near. I don't, I don't pronounce that. So, yeah, that I have to get rid of the ten dollars thing because yes, it's this cost like ten dollars about. So, it does come with, and this is what's pretty cool about it. It includes the Blu-ray movie of Watchmen, and the cool thing is I have never seen that. So, two disc complete experience contains Watchmen: The End Is Nigh or Near parts one and two with bonus film features. Okay, and blue. Blu-ray Watchmen Director's Cut with extra features, exclusive art, and history of Watchmen timeline. I don't know shit about this franchise. I really don't. The only person I even know anything I know this about, and this is going to be kind of weird, is Ray William Johnson, uh, uh, RWJ, on YouTube. And that's it. Like, that's seriously it. I don't know anything else other than his wall was, you know, Watchmen. Uh, Ray William Johnson. So, anyways, yeah, it's rated M for mature. It has the games, like I said, and the movie. So that's pretty fucking cool. And I never seen this ever before. So you know I had to pick it up. Anyways, the next one here is I was very surprised. I found out this game was very cheap nowadays when I was trying to narrow it down my PS3 collection of what I was trying to get, and I realized that I was like, oh yeah, I totally forgot about this little guy, uh, this game. I knew about it. I had it in my freaking list for a long time. I just forgot to literally try to pick it up. And when I looked it up, well, the only reason I found, I re 
reminded myself about it is because I went to a Graywell, a, a video game store. I spoke to you guys about that store hundreds of times before. Hundreds of times before, and uh, basically they had a copy for $26. I was like, that's kind of high. I want to see what it is for GameStop, and no lie, GameStop only had it for $10. Yeah, GameStop only had it for $10. So... I went to, you know, I went to a GameStop, uh, it says they had it, and I didn't call them if they had the, the case, the artwork and all that. Uh, I went there, they had the game, it's not the official case and all that, so I was like, that sucked. So I called another GameStop, says they had it, and I was like, hey, do you actually own this? I don't want to go all the way driving to there just to go get this that doesn't actually have the car, oh, uh, cover art. And they're like, we have it, we own it, like, awesome, cool. So I got it for $10, it's pretty freaking awesome. Deception 4 Blood Ties, uh, basically, this was like... This was like one of the few games that was releasing after the PS4 just barely launched. It's like one of those games. So that kind of tells you about a time frame of when that released. Uh, so that's pretty freaking crazy though, you know? So yeah, Deception 4 Blood Ties. Finally got that. And by the way, I don't know anything about the Deception games. I don't. I don't own any other ones other than that one. That's the fourth game, so I'm missing three. I don't even know if there's any spinoffs, so yeah. Anyways, the last game here, and I mean the last game. Uh, this one's got a little bit of a crazy one. So, basically, this is an import, okay? Like I said, and I have knew about some import games for a minute. Some. Uh, like I told you about uh, Gundam Extreme Versus, uh, like like I told you before. Same with, uh, I think, like, a couple weeks ago, I talked about Kamen Rider Bat Ride War Genesis, or just Bat Ride War, sorry. Uh, I've been trying to get some Japanese import games, the ones that probably matter the most. So everybody keeps telling me I should get and basically, this was one of those I needed to get kind of games. And this is a very cheap game. Just like Gunnam Extreme Versus was. Very cheap game. Guys, everybody, this is a Capcom game. And it is called EX Troopers. EX Troopers. Uh, I, it look, it, okay, it's basically an action adventure. A little bit of a platformer. I think it could be some RPG elements. Kinda, could be. And it was an extreme good hit, but it never came to North America. I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, I don't think it was light in the PS3 lifespan. I don't think so. Uh, so I I straight up don't know. Even if it was, they're still releasing PS3 games as of this day. If you don't know, Persona 5 came out also on the PS3, which also is on the PS4. But everybody knows about the PS4 version, but not about the PS3 version. So I was like, what? Yeah, so you kind of have to think about that. Yeah, they, they could have released this over here, but they could release a lot of games from Japan to North America, but they just never did. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty just, like, crazy. Like, like you know, like, shocked. So, of course, uh, I actually did an unboxing on this, and uh, I forgot I left all the paper stuff in there. So, uh, yeah, anyways. Uh, I think it's my th third import game for Japan no no I'm sorry uh, it'll be fourth because there was one from Game Boy uh, that I did with Pokemon Green but if it's PS3 it's my third one uh, there has been other games that's been imported but they're not Japanese they're PAL region as in One Piece Pirate Warriors 1 and 2 uh, but that's about it so um, other than that uh, okay I guess the only other thing I could throw in there because I feel like it's kind of a short uh, vlog anyways is that this is I, I own this game already. I spoke about it like maybe two or three weeks ago or something like that. And I feel like I just, I don't know. I I asked GameStop if I could have it. And they're like, yeah. And they're like, you know, it's it, I don't have to have everything inside. Which they, had, they didn't have anything. So I was like, I want a box then. And like, sure, cool. I'm talking about the Yakuza 0, uh, b the business launch edition box. Just the box. It was absolutely free. Um, I personally think... Well, here, here's my my theory. I want to say I have a theory about that box. The 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 Yakuza game I bought a few weeks back. I think it's with that box. Why that box? Because I've never seen any other games that has the box, and it was expired on May twenty second, twenty seventeen. If you don't know, that was kind of recently, and I got the game recently. So my perspection is. That was the game box. That was. But the stuff that was inside, like the business card and all that was for the business launch edition. Uh, the stainless steels business card holder with front and back design. Double-sided bill 
goal. I don't know. Business cards are Haru and Matima and special hostess, hostess cards. So I never got those cards. Of course, you know, it's, it's completely empty. So I'm assuming, and I have to assume, that this box was with my Yakuza 0 original game box. That I'm assuming that. So I could be totally wrong. I could be totally wrong. Maybe there's another Yakuza 0 in the store for all I know. But for at the time, that was the only one I was aware of. So, yeah. Anyways, that's me seriously it for today. So we got the Yakuza 0 box of the Business Launch Edition. We got... EX Troopers for the PS3. It's an import game. Only in Japan. We got Deception 4 Blood Ties. We have... Uh, oh, but, uh, by the way, please tell me about the other three games. I don't know what else they could be on. Like PS3 or what. Uh, or PS2 or, what, or whatever. Anyways, uh, Watchmen. The end is near or nigh. Including the movie. And, of course... <sighs> X Blades Lost Memories for the PS3. So, once again, everybody, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys all for next week's video, okay? Bye bye.